Hi, I'm John Gernig, ASE Master Certified Technician from the Felpro Field Test Garage in Skokie, Illinois, the home of Felpro Gaskets. Today I'm going to address some of the issues that come in on our tech line regarding press and place valve cover gaskets, spark plug tube seals, and the valve cover grommets. So at Felpro, all the gaskets that we design, we design them for the repair environment to help seal those imperfect sealing surfaces that you're going to encounter out there in the real world. When we create a set, we make sure that we put everything in that set that you're going to need to do that repair job. So if that particular cover does need gaskets, tube seals, and grommets, you're going to find it in that set. Let's take a look at some of the different valve cover gaskets that you might encounter out there in the field. So first we recommend that you lay the gasket on the cover. So this gasket's pretty self-evident. You can see it fits right around the cover. It drops right into place, and all you really need to do is just push the gasket down into the groove. Now make sure before when you start any job that your sealing surfaces are clean and dry and your parts are ready to go. Make sure that the covers are in good shape. There's no cracks or anything like that. Some of these other covers, we recommend that you lay the gasket onto the cover. Make sure it's in the correct orientation. Push the gasket straight down into the groove. All our valve cover gaskets, we incorporate some sort of retention feature to help hold that gasket into the groove. Now, in some of your V-type engines, you're going to find that there's a left and a right cover. For those applications, we recommend that you lay the gasket onto the covers first, because sometimes there are different left and right gaskets. You want to make sure you're putting the correct gasket in the correct cover. For these gaskets, we recommend that you start at one area first, Push the gasket straight down into the groove, and we recommend that you work in short increments. Work from between, like say, this bolt hole and this bolt hole. Push the gasket straight down into the groove. What we don't want you to do is take the gasket and start to push it along with your thumb. What's going to happen is you're going to see that the gasket now does not align with the groove anymore, and you're going to have to pull the gasket out and start all over again. So once again, Work in between two short increments, push the gasket straight down into the groove between these two short spots, work your way around the cover and you won't have any issues. The next issue is our spark plug tube seals. So some of these valve cover gaskets or valve covers, they'll use a press and place gasket for this tube seal. Once again, just push the gasket straight down into the groove and you'll be all set. Some of the other tube seals, they need to be driven into place into the cover. So when you, or just before you take out the tube seal, I want you to take a look at the orientation of the sealing lip of the tube seal. You'll see one side is tapered, one side is not. You want to make sure when you install the tube seal that the tapered side faces the tube. So when it's time to fit the cover over the tube, over the head, it will slide into place. We recommend that you either use a seal driver or a large socket to help drive the seal into place. Then lastly, we're going to show you what you need to do on the valve cover grommets. Not every cover will have grommets, but some will. We recommend that you chuck the fastener up into a vise securely, use a small screwdriver, work the old grommet off, take the new grommet, slide it into place, as you can see, we have retention features built into our grommets to help hold them into the cover. Once you have all your grommets changed, you can then install them into the cover and then install the cover onto the vehicle. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's torque sequence and torque specs. Lastly, you're gonna find on some of these engines, there's gonna be machined areas where different castings are meeting. They could be the timing cover, they could be a cam journal, they could be a half moon area. Any of these areas are gonna require a little bit of RTV to help seal up that imperfect area that exists. So for those areas, we recommend that you just apply a small dab on the cylinder head. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply it to the gasket, but we recommend that you apply it on the cylinder head itself. All you need is a small dab, as you can see, we have a pad right here, and you're just going to apply a little bit of RTV. That's all you need. We do not want you to apply RTV to the entire gasket. These gaskets are designed to fit in a precision area, a specified distance. 
If you start applying RTV to the gasket, it could create too much compression on the gasket and you could cause it to either split or slip out of place, causing a leak. So remember, all our gaskets are Felport. We designed them for the repair environment. If you'd like to see more sealing tips and more information on the products that we make, visit our website at www.felpro.com. Remember to install confidence, install the gaskets that professionals trust. I'm John Gernick from the Felpro Field Test Garage. Thanks for watching.